Hey, are you someone that gets defended easily? I know that's me. I've been struggling with that my whole life. I'm, I'm very, I take things personal. I'm a people pleaser. I try, to, I try to use that as my identity and fall into it. And I've come to the realization and have known for quite a while it's not a good trait to have. But I haven't been able to find and implement it into my life in, in such a way that's, that's had some legs to it. And awareness is one step to it, but the application and the actually really coming to grips to how to, how to take what you know and not have to change yourself completely, but, but losing the defensiveness and the taking it personal, that, that does need to be uh, eliminated completely, and it can be. And I'm just so excited that I've been pushed to the edge in regards to, to having to confront and really bring that to the forefront of my priorities and, uh, and do it in a, in a way that's going to help myself, my family, my life, and everyone that's, that's surrounding me in such a great way. And I wanted to share that with you today. Uh, a book that I read yesterday and just couldn't put it down because it had so much value. Uh, it's called The Untethered Soul by um, Michael Singer. And I've heard other people reference it in webinars and uh, seminars and conferences that I've gone to. And I've, I've gotten some of the principles brought to my attention, but the ap actual application and getting it through my thick skull, how uh, how to separate your thoughts from who you really are. And what he reveals in there is, is quite a bit of, it's, it's, it's very readable, very understandable and applicable. And uh, one of the things that I really enjoyed how he presented it, and it was that we have uh, within us all these thoughts we're analyzing things and our, our mind just continues to chatter. Well, that's not us. We're not our thoughts. And to separate, put yourself in the back seat. Realize that who you are is something separate. So having these thoughts as if in your mind you have a, uh, a roommate. And the, the roommate has these different things that they're saying. Uh, and it doesn't you don't have to respond to it. You just, you just take it in and they're only thoughts and just observe them and let them go. And it's, it's something that I, I want to really put into, into my life and to be able to step into that. It's going to help uh, regardless of the direction uh, of my life. It'll help the people around me as well as myself and hopefully in turn other people be able to, to uh, gain some value because I'm not afraid to get in front of the camera here and, and kind of share my vulnerability, share this openness, share the real life experiences that, that I'm going through that, that uh, push my feet to the edge and, and, and say, hey, you know, you need to be okay with who you are, but at the same time, these are areas that are, that are stopping you from connecting and, and really being the highest version of yourself. So I really, I want people to know I'm here for them and again, hope the that there's value in what I'm sharing and if so please follow me like share you know the drill I just I just really want to um, bring the best out of myself in hopes that there's uh, some value to others uh, along my journey so have a great day I'll be in touch real soon